Welcome to the Hedgehog Hollow Video Hop. I am Karen Hashik, and I'm so happy to be participating in this Hedgehog Hop where you will have a chance to win one of two awesome prizes and can earn bonus chances by commenting on this video and others in the hop. To see what you can win and how to enter, please expand the description box below this video. The theme of this hop is hedgehogs, and this is the card that I'm going to show you how to make in my video today. So we have a very cute hedgehog on the front, and then when it, you open it up, the happy hello, love you, um, pops up, and I'm going to show you how to do both the front and the inside of this card. Harry Hodge Hedgehog here was created with a die from Tonic Studios and also with flock transfer sheets from Decafoil and Thermoweb. I am loving these uh, sheets. It's so easy to create cute animals with velvety texture of flock and you don't need a laminator or you don't have to deal with the mess of traditional flock. You simply cut a piece out of the foam adhesive sheets from Decafoil and then you cut a piece of the uh, flock transfer sheets just slightly larger and I'm going to show you how I to do that. So for the back piece of Harry Hedgehog, I've cut the um, back piece here um, out of the uh, two-sided sticky paper. You remove the sheet from the top, the liner, and you push a put this down onto the flock. And then um, we're going to run that through a die cutting machine to apply pressure. So I have my Gemini set up to go here. So the die cutting machine has applied the pressure and then you simply remove this piece and you have a perfectly foiled piece every time. It's, it's very, very easy to do. Now I have um, die cut all the pieces for Harry Hedgehog in advance and done that. Um, so now I'm going to put them together. So um, as you can see, um, there, as I showed you, there's different colors, and I use the white a lot. And what I do is then I'll use an ink to sponge it to get the colors that I need. Um, there isn't like a tan, and there isn't like a pinky tan, so I sponge those with ink. And on the on the uh, tie, I also added some stripes. So um, we simply remove the backing. It's a very very sticky. Put that on. Put the white piece on. Um, I have the face ready to go, and that's going to be up here. And then the tie is under the chin, of course. And then we have his cute little feet, which I sponged with a, like a light brown and then a pink. And this guy goes over here. Well, maybe not. I think this one's supposed to be over here. And there's his little feet sticking out. And then we have a couple hands. Paws. And 
and our cute hairy hedgehog is done and ready to be placed on the card. We're going to set that aside for now and do the rest of the card. Um, I have a five and a half by 11 cards base and I cut a square out of the front with a little inker die towards the top and I have um, cut out some other pieces that I'll share with you in a minute. Um, these are the Karen Berniston dies that I use to make this card. So the Rockin' Rectangle Pop-Up die set is one of my favorites of her new ones. And this is what's going to easily make this Rockin' Rectangle Pop. Um, I've also used the Love You from the Word Set 9 the Hello from the Word Set 6, and the Happy from Word Set 7, as well as the Rectangle's Crosshatch um, dies, all from Karen Berniston. So um, on the inside of the card, I have uh, attached, cut out and attached the Crosshatch Rectangles, and that would be for signing the card. And then the Love You out of orange has been um, cut in advance. And then on the, for the front of the card, I have prepared the Happy Hello, which is going to pop up right in this opening here. And um, I've prepared a couple, uh, the frame with acetate on there and the little hairy hedgehog um, sign. So um, this is the two apparatus pieces that are in the die set. Um, and um, you when you die cut this piece here, you're going to fold it in um, from uh, a, a mountain fold, a valley fold, and a mountain fold. So there's three lines there, and you do mountain, valley, mountain. And then this is the other apparatus piece, and um, it is the, the arms. And the first thing we're going to do is um, put some adhesive on these little side pieces and um, seal those to make the apparatus even stronger. And then um, I always watch Karen Berniston's videos and recommend them highly and she gives very good tips on how to do this. Um, we're going to take this piece from the back and then these little tabs here, you're going to fold over um, one of them so you can slide it through from the back to the front. And then once you get it in the front, then you're going to undo that piece that you folded so that it's going to hold it. And we're going to repeat that. I've folded over the tab just a little bit and I'm sliding it through the slot. And then once you get it through the slot, then um, you're going to um, straighten that out. Um, now we are going to um, glue these tabs down. And Karen suggests you lay it flat when you do that. And then just put some glue underneath that little tab and press down firmly. And then we're going to do the other one. And once those have set up, you have your apparatus ready to go. Then you're going to take this piece and you're going to apply that, or attach that tab here on the left to the, to the, just to the left of that center fold um, so that it is um, in the center of that hole. Okay, so I've put some good strong uh, two-sided orange tape on here. And then just to the um, left of that fold, lined up in the center of that, the hole we've created, you're going to attach that. 
and then you're going to fold this down and apply some um, good strong adhesive again you can use her glue or you know whatever you prefer but it has to be good and strong because this is going to be opened and closed a lot I'm sure and then we're going to remove the liner on that which is sometimes the hardest thing to do right and lay it flat and close this side on that and now your apparatus is attached and working then I'm going to apply this happy attach this happy hello to this um, piece here with some more good strong tape to do it um, right in the window so you know it's going exactly where you want it to go and lay it on there and our happy hello greeting is going to pop up and go to the side every time it's opened uh, then I have a um, frame here that I've created um, and it has some acetate on there. Um, I've tried to create these cards without the acetate, um, but then this this piece here keeps getting stuck. So it's best to, um, to put some acetate on there. I have some sticky skinny tape on this. So I think I'm going to make sure I don't grab that piece. I think I'm going to try to put it on with this open just a little bit. Lining it up, it's the exact same size as the hole. There we go. So we have a, uh, the frame and the pop-up and the inside complete. And then we're going to attach our hairy hedgehog um, and we're using the um, the back of those adhesive sheets uh, so it's two-sided adhesive so um, it's very convenient and very very sticky and sometimes hard to get off but I'm trying to get it started here very very sticky sticking to my hands So we're putting him on. And attaching this little sign. I just thought it was really cute to say, Harry Hedgehog says, Harry Hedgehog says, Happy Hello. And love you. I thought that would be really cute for my grandson or another child or, or anyone that we would want to send a card to to say, love you, happy hello. Making an interactive pop-up card is so easy with the rocking rectangle pop-up die set from Karen Berniston. And I think whoever receives my Harry Hedgehog interactive card is going to love it. Remember to comment on my video and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Then hop along to the next step on the Hedgehog Hollow Video Hop. See the description box for more detailed instructions on how you could win. You have one week until May 22, 2019 to enter. 
Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing, and thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.